so hello everyone welcome again and i was working with our um, project and uh, i got one error it might be you also pressing this error while deploying the java application so over the tomcat so let's see how can we change the port number of the tomcat like um, if you are trying to deploy your application over the tomcat server and i have already discussed some uh, errors with tomcat you might face so here over the code one we'll share the link in description uh, when you can how can you solve the local host file to start so you can follow this and this app just i write that the issue with the several ports required by the tomcat server the local host already use and might be the error says port 8080 required by tomcat this one uh, whatever the version you are using at local host it's already in use so if you can see let's say okay and if i'm gonna run this if i'm gonna run this code let's uh that's even not it's there is an option to run because it's stuck in between and it's showing this error to me so it says several ports at zero at three at double zero six required by the tomcat okay uh so let's understand the root cause of this uh, error so to understand the root cause you need you can also read this complete article or let me explain you in brief so what's going on here <coughs> like your application the stormgate server is running on a particular port number right that's whenever application is running it will ask for an ip address it will ask for a port number so this port number 8083 or 8006 is using via some any other process in your system so if you see your terminal if, like just right click go to task manager and if you see the process performance the services under the services you can see the lots of services are running back, back in the background so we can delete this service uh, so what we can do uh, the same port number is using by any other services that's why it's showing me this error so we have two solutions for this the first solution we can search that particular service and we can stop that service and then it will run fine now, another thing we have we can change the port number so let's say let's discuss them one by one if you can see there is a two-way change the port number of for tomcat from the config file and we can kill the process so we'll say this one in second number <coughs> later let's discuss how can we change the port number for the tomcat first so as you can see under my server section it has a tomcat 8.5 if you didn't get see here just go to window so view click to others <clears throat> and search here for the server okay it's gone let me go again and if you didn't find this here you just if you're going to see it like this and you click on the server you search here for the server and you will get this click it open and then it will display here now just double click on this server and you will redirect on this port page so this is your server configuration so here you can see the tomcat so as you can see when you double click on this it will then convert into the input form input and it will allow us to change the port number so let's say uh, i turn into this one into 8084 and let's say this should be 8086 and let's say it should be 8004 I just pressing Ctrl plus A set from my machine. You can save that. You need to after changing this port, you need to save uh, save this uh, page. So you can directly click on this icon to save it. Now, again, right click on it, and right now it's not showing the start and ops, uh, any option to start or restart the server. So I'm just clicking on delete. So I'm gonna delete it, and let's edit again. So I select my version. It's already configured with this project, so it will display there. Now the server will come again, and it's stopped now, and now to restart it. 
so when we restart it says again x 0 at 3 is in use so again double click on it and let's change it let's say it should be at 7 now it should work and let's change other code as well so it should be at 9 or let's say 0 1 or at 0 3 4 6 8 okay save it right click on it and start it again so you can see this time server is started and it's working fine so this is the one way that we can use now the error is solved i'm going to turn it again into 8083 because it will show busy then we can solve that problem okay let's restart it now when i trying to restart it it will show me the error like 803 is required so it's just stopping showing the process is 20 percent but it will display the error again like 803 required by the tomcat now let's move to the second way if you didn't get solution with this way just go and kill that process so to kill that process process what you need to do as the first step you need to open your command prompt so just go your windows and open some command prompt this is for window windows machine so just open your command prompt in this command prompt enter this command here so let's say I'm going to just copy it and paste it here. So let's start the hyphen NO and find str. And here you need to enter the port number that you want to kill. Why we are pressing this command, where we are passing this command here? If you notice in the task manager, it will it's showing only PID, it means process ID. So we need to know on which process ID our application is running. So this is the command to get the process ID that running on that particular port number. So I here I want to know on which process ID is running on 8083. So this is the same port that is busy. So let's say let's hit the enter button. Now you can see the process ID 11436 is running on 8083 now I can search that process ID from here and I can let's say let's search if I found it let's double one four sometime there will be lots of process ID so it will not easy to search them manually so I will show you one command so you can click it by the ID only. So I'm not able to find it. It's, 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 no, it's not. So let's pass the another command to kill it directly. So we have that another command is called task kill FPID and we need to enter the process ID here. So let's say process ID. Now here I need to enter the process ID. So mine process ID 436 so it's task kill plus F plus PID and the particular process ID. now you can see the message success the process ID with PID would on 4360 has been terminated it means it the process is killed now now let's close it move to the server again click on it ok and now delete it again and let's use it again and now click on the start now it will automatically start because the process is killed you can see it's starting like server status is starting so by this way this two way you can uh, solve this error and it's really easy okay so thank you so much for watching uh, we'll keep updating many videos over the tomcat servers and java development development java deployment so you can subscribe the channel for more updates uh, thank you